Hey guys, this is Bear Gaming and welcome back to our channel. For today's Hero Spotlight, let's discuss about Monica. So, as usual, we are going here in the Journals button and then Heroes. And then we are going to choose the Legendary tab. So we can see Monica right here. Huh. Now you see reality. First, we are going to check out her skill set. The passive, it says here, Proof of Ability. Increases own hit by 20% for each living ally for 5 turns at the start of the round. The first skill is Magic Spear Charge. Deals 187% damage to one enemy and 60% chance to afflict target with stun for 4 turns. Then her second skill is Magic Spear Rush. Deals 375% damage to one enemy and 80% chance to decrease attack speed of target by 50 for 9 turns. 50 attack speed. So that's really quite a lot. Now we are going to check her. Here in the hero introduction, you can see this character. She looks like a punk. Just this punky style. Then for the hero illustration, you can see here Alexei Territory Guard Captain. So I guess she is the assistant of Alexei. This is the default mode. And this is the battle mode where you can see this icicle spear. It's quite invisible. Now we are going to check out her skill preview. That's the basic attack. So you can see she throws this spear towards the enemy. And for the first skill. Second skill. So it's too obvious that she is an ice element hero, and it seems that she can stun the enemy using her skill too, right? Or probably it's from the first skill. You're just oh, okay. It's the 60% chance to afflict target with stun for 4 turns. It was from the first skill. Now we are going to check out the hero story. This is Ranger Monica, sexist female. She's from North One Frosty. Hero tier, legendary or legendary hero element is Frost. She is 22 years old, race is human, position is chaos or chaos type hero, and her birthday is on July 12th. Alexei Territory Guard Captain Monica was born the youngest daughter in a family of knights in Northman Frost. Monica had three elder brothers, so she used to follow her brothers and played war games instead of playing dog. Seeing her brothers became, becoming knights and soldiers, she naturally decided to follow the same path. Unfortunately, her parents were too conservative and stubborn. They opposed Monica's dream of becoming a knight, worrying that she may tarnish the family's honor because she's a female. Despite her persistence, she was able, or she was unable to change her parents' mind and left her home on her 14th birthday. So she was really quite young when she left home. He says here, then she tried to find a mercenary guild that would accept her. Some may argue that this decision is childish, but she was able to become a mercenary without much effort thanks to her ability to create a magical spear, an ability passed down through her family's bloodline. The spearmanship that she learned by watching her brothers and the warmth of the mercenary she met for the first time. But even in the mercenary group, people looked at her with suspicion. The people of Nordbond Frosty, who were born into one of the continent's harshest environment, had a difficult time accepting a young girl like Monica into their mercenary group. Monica wore pants instead of a skirt like them and kept her hair short. Over time, rumors about a female mercenary who uses a magical spear spread, but Monica still had the desire to become a knight. It was Alexei, a lord of the borderland, who accepted Monica as a knight. Alexei recognized Monica's desire and evalu evaluated her based solely on her ability and skills. He then gave her a chance to hone her skills. Monica swore allegiance to Alexei and spent time working as a knight in Alexei's territory. So I guess 
still common in the olden days, even in games, that females were not really, you know, were thought to wear skirts and stuff like that. And to do such tasks as a male or like what knights and like maybe spearmen would do, it's still something that they kind of look frown upon it. So that's the backstory of Monica. Now we are going to check out her fate core. So over here. And it seems that she only has one fate core. As far as I can remember, it's under the Synergy or Idol theme fate core. As you can see, G9 and April has the gold fate core, which has the gold fate core special passive, wherein everybody in this fate core team will be able to benefit from that. And also, you can see there are two blue fate cores in the idol theme or synergy fate core theme, which are Aiden and Sabrina. So, Monica over here is one of the black fate cores. You can see here Supernova Monica. Monica in a parallel world will become an idol. A choreographer who believes that the reason fans are enthusiastic about idols is the sense of unity that only the group has. G9 and Wilkis, who always behaves freely, are always troubling Monica. And as you can see, her passive proof of ability has the superstar, purges one buff from target when attacking, and one time per round. Increases own attack by 30% remove upon using a skill. So this is the special passive of the superstar, but as you can see, the idol fate for team is divided into two. So you can see Superstar, this is for the matured members, but for as for April and her sister, you can see that the special passive under this paper team is the little star. So it's divided into two. So as for Monica, since she is one of the grown-ups, she has the superstar special passive. And as for the first and second skill, it doesn't have any changes on them. So over here in the intro hero introduction, you can see this. Monica has this different version of herself and you can see her clothes has this glittering effects and her hair is quite longer compared to their legendary version. So Don't for the appearance effect you can see this one. Supernova Monica. Lots of flashy lights and stage. So this is the default mode and this is the battle mode. You can see she still has this spear as her weapon. Then for the exclusive equipment, it's this one. So we can see a closer figure or physical appearance of the spear compared to her regular weapon. Now we are going to check out that spear here in the exclusive equipment. This here crystal stinger. You can purchase this for 18,000 cess and you are going to equip this on Monica, her attack will be increased by 30 and combat power will be increased by 10,000. It says here Monica's exclusive equipment, special microphone custom made by Monica of the parallel world. It has both smoothness and flexibility so that it doesn't interfere with the intense choreography. So this is a microphone actually, rather than a spear. So we are just going to equip this equipment and we are now going to proceed with the skill preview that's the basic attack of Monica and as you can see there are light effects even lightning compared to the legendary version which is full ice so since she is under the fate for team and you know they are like fate for I mean K-pop idols so that's why you can see those psychedelic designs and even those what you call that from the stereos, I think it's. I really forgot the name. <laughs> so, this is the first skill. And this is the second skill. So, instead of ice, you can see those. I really forgot what the name is. You can see that in the stereos, it, it moves based to the music. So those are the skill effects of Monica and 
we are just going to check out in the events fate for theme just in case he has an orange fate for but really as, as far as i can remember she doesn't have one so let's just browse Clearly doesn't have an orange feet for Now we are going to check out in the Manage Hero spot. I am the king's guard. It so happens I have a copy me so easily. of Everyone, Monica's black feet for so It's here. I already fusioned it to one. So you can see this level one here on the lower right portion of the icon. And it so happens that I have her exclusive equipment, which is the Crystal Stinger. So just like any of the other exclusive equipment that I happen to have. These were the ones, or these were the times where the exclusive equipment was easier to get. Okay, so we are just going to skip the artifact and proceed to the gears. As you can see over here, I equipped her with Breaker Set and Sniper Set. So Sniper Set increases effect hit by 20%. We're going to equip this. This is actually a two-piece set. Whereas for Breaker Set, this increases attack by 45%. And this is a 4 piece set. So, since Monica is a Chaos type hero, mostly Chaos type heroes are damage dealers. Therefore, we are going to look for gears that has a lot of damage dealing stats, such as attack, critical hit rate, critical damage, attack speed, some effect hit if she happens to have a debuff, and attack speed as well. So since I'm not using her, I just equip random gears and as you can see the gloves over here. The attack is in a flat number or whole number, it should be something like in percent. If not, we should look for critical hit rate or critical damage because that is really good when it comes to damage dealing heroes. As for the substats over here, these four lines, you can see there is attack in percent and there's critical damage, effect resist, effect hit in percent. So I can say that this is a 3 over 4 here because you can see there are 3 good stats out of 4. I won't be recommending effect resist since she is not a tanker. So therefore we are going to look for something that has probably more critical damage and probably critical hit rate. So again when it comes to the gloves, it should be something like critical hit rate or critical damage. Now when it comes to the accessory, it should be effect hit or attack in percent. Not unless you want to use this special passive. I mean the first skill, which is a debuff, says here 60% chance to affect target with stun. So if you don't want to use this, it would be best if you are going to go for attack in percent. But let's say you want to use that, I think effect hit would be better. Effect hit in percent. So just the same as the other gears, you know there are 6 pieces of gears per hero. So look for attack in percent, critical hit rate, critical damage. So it's either you want to go for the debuff, therefore you are going to get the hit, but if not, so go for attack speed or something else. And base over here you can see there is attack speed, critical hit rate, critical damage, and there's defense. So it would be better if probably there's attack there or I don't know, probably more critical damage. And here in the boot, it could be attack in percent or attack speed. As you can see here, it says defense in percent. So that's how you do it. When it comes to other gears, you might go for destruction set that will increase critical damage to your hero. And other than that, you can go for probably critical hit rate set. So aside from sniper and breaker, there's destruction set, critical set, and probably dash in order for us to make her more speedy. So those are the probable or suggestions about her gears. So since she is under Northburn Frost, it would be best if you're going to max out the signature force of Shufraken since Shufraken is the general of Northburn Frosty. And we also have the second general of Northburn Frosty which is Momoring. So you can use her copy as well in order for you to max out the signature force. 
And aside from that, when it comes to Blue Fate Force, you might want to get Blue Fate Ferreira because she will give buffs to Chaos type heroes, whichever nation they are from. And for the particular nation which is Northbound Frosty, you might want to get Blue Fate Kortopaki. He will give buffs to characters under Northbound Frosty. And of course, don't forget about the Unleashed Potential because this is really important for every hero don't you in Exos Heroes. Don't you think the allure of girl groups is proof of all their hard training? Oh, that is a really nice animation. So probably if you are going to change something or probably you're going, you are going to a different page and come back don't to her, you, you can see this. Of girl groups is I really proof forgot of all what their hard it's called, but I can see this a lot in stereo or radios perhaps with those things. And it seems like they go together with the music. You know, I really forgot the name. So anyway guys, that will be all for today. We discuss about Monica and her Black Fate core. And actually she has a very unique skill animation which is really flashy. So please do not forget to subscribe to my Twitch channel and also to my YouTube channel as well where you can see all of my mobile games and console games adventure. This is Bear Gaming. Have a great day everyone.